He had it for some reason. What's up, Day Stagula Nation? Welcome to another edition of the Day Span Show. I am your host, Chris, the Day Span Dace, and joining me as always, Gibby. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 You just get off like a work call or something, and that's why. Halloween no, we're, we were. I was watching the. Uh, we were watching uh, Nightmare, Nightmare for Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. It's on. Ah. It's on Disney Plus or Disney, whatever uh, the hell it is. They're streaming app. Cheever! Hey, what's up, guys? It's a Tuesday. <laughs> no, it's not. Don't tell anybody. Oh, shit. Uh, see you all later? Wait, did you do another? What's called with your uh, youngin? What? No, I did not. Oh, I was going to say, um, you normally post has, it. He has a very busy schedule compared to me. He, Shocking. He's booking that guy, and it's like, okay, I'll pencil. It might be a once a month podcast because he, he's got month? a busy schedule. He's got school. He's got, I think, school. soccer. Soccer? Uh, Wait, then, can they actually play sports? Yeah. He's an all star. He's all. He's gonna be a triple threat all star. Yeah. <laughs> I coached him. Well, he got better. <laughs> he doesn't cry, so that's an improvement. Uh, but there could be another one down the road. I've heard good things about the first one. I haven't checked the stats uh, to see if. He's line. Good. Uh But who knows? Maybe I'll try to get him on the hook this week. Probably not. Probably not. We'll yeah. see. He's a busy man. He's got a he busier is. schedule than me. It's sad. Uh, but we're into episode 345 here of the Dace Man Show. I like we it. have a show in store for you. No, we don't. I said a show. I didn't say, I didn't use any adjectives. I just said it was a show. All right, guys. For the few. What type, what type of show, though? For the press. Now we have to get into that adjective. Oh, it's meh. Meh? Okay. I can settle for meh. But <laughs> the first thing I want to point out, and uh, I don't know if you guys noticed it. I didn't notice it because I don't go out of my house because of the pandemic. Oh, but man. But the orange sun, like the... Shade of the sun out, like kind of like our background here, uh, because of the wildfires in California, our skies are looking different. Never noticed. You... Yeah, the moon. I, I saw the moon yesterday. I don't mm -hmm. go outside. And I was like, the fuck is this shit? Don't do it. I don't go outside. Sorry. You're messing with my life. You're messing with everything. Well, think how San Francisco feels. It's a complete apocalyptic look out there. Orange. Um, and at like 11 a.m., it looks like it's twilight hours of the night. It's fucking crazy. So what you're saying is AMC decided to go all in for their West Coast Walking Dead show. Yes. That's right. Okay. Absolutely. As, as long as we're all on the same page here, AMC <laughs> just poured buckets of money. Meanwhile, on the East Coast, we've got six fucking hurricanes out there just brewing. That's uh, right. New Orleans just got, is getting fucking wrecked either already or it's in the process. It, it's slowed down to the point where it's like, you know what? I really want to hit this motherfucker. And now it's like a cat too. <laughs> It's uh, gonna park itself there too, and just yeah, wait just for like chill. a couple days. Be like, you know what? Katrina didn't do the trick. <laughs> Sally's here, bitch. That's right. Never trust women names nope. when it comes to a nope. to a hurricane in New Orleans. Unless it's Paulette. Paulette went full retard and went off to the side, and she's just kind of dancing in the center of the Atlantic Ocean. It's causing some pretty sweet waves for us here on the Jersey. But the one I'm concerned about is Teddy. <laughs> Man, Teddy's got a direct course for Daddy here. That's right. And it'll be a Cat 3 by this weekend, but it won't be anywhere near land. Oh, I was, say, I was, I was hoping it was hitting New Jersey as a Cat 3. No, but... That would be amazing. Oh, murder. The model I saw yesterday, it's pointed like it's coming our way. I don't know why we're getting excited about hurricanes. Hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are getting older, so the weather is a lot more exciting. Nope. It's like, oh, it's peaked. We're going to die. No. <laughs> Get me out of this friggin' 2020 year. 2020, but baby. the way the model is pointed it's coming to, it looks like it was coming directly in new jersey and that's why i made the joke about hey what's up with teddy for those of you who don't know his son's name is teddy and that's why i was making that joke damn and then there's like three other ones yeah. that are like around teddy and then there's like a tropical depression starting off the coast of africa maybe ready so what's happening is teddy is bringing his boys together <laughs> they're gonna, boys they're gonna merge into a super hurricane and it's gonna be the first ever Breaking news only from the Dace Man show. We had that already. Hurricane? Wasn't that what's called? Sandy. <sighs> yeah, Sandy. No, Sandy wasn't Sandy was a regular hurricane. I'm saying No, it was it had hurricane the uh, version with hurricane. It was a hurricane, with hurricane and a nor'easter that combined. Oh, you're talking about the thing last year? Yeah. I don't remember what that was called, but I, I thought it was Sandy. About. I don't know. Because I, forget I got was. stuck yeah. in Seattle. Yeah. And then I had to uh 
I think you, you flew to somewhere, then flew into Pittsburgh and then drove. Seattle to <laughs> Sacramento to Dallas to Pittsburgh and then a five hour drive all overnight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. And then we went to Adventureland to do a PS4 Superstar signing. I smelt like shit and looked like death. <laughs> yeah, good times. Remember when exactly. We back before the pandemic? Yeah, back when you can actually go outside. <laughs> but speaking of Adventureland, have you heard anything recently from them? Uh, they had a GoFundMe campaign because they were actually uh, running into some trouble. Oh. Because they weren't open. It was part yeah. of that small business, and the Gloucester County outlets were still asking for rent. Yeah. Like Spider-Man. Rent! Rent! Rent when you fix the goddamn door. Uh, but they had a GoFundMe going. As far as I know, they're still open. Okay. Yeah. Um, the WWE Superstar experience that was supposed to be given out this year, got, mm -hmm. we got wrecked on our Game of Thumbs prizes. That's right. We couldn't give out the home opener tickets. Couldn't give out the experience. Oh, ouch. Um, luckily, the experience, I don't think they'll care. I don't think they were going to go anyway. It was uh, Caroline. Yeah. Oh, brought Tony. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, uh, they're not doing them. I don't know when they're going to start doing them again, if they're going to start doing them again. I think he will. To, he's got to get over the hump, though. He's going to make sure he still has a store. Well, yeah. I mean, I, w I was in there I'm about shocked a month that they're, ago. I'm shocked was... that they're not actually trying to work with them, because obviously if everyone starts leaving the thing, they're, they're screwed. I guess it's not like a normal mall where it's based off profit. Probably not. Yeah. It, it, it's whatever square footage you have, that's what you own. Rent. 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 And to be honest, there was a lot of stores that were, before the pandemic, that area was emptying out. Yeah. yeah. And, and he had other issues going on on top of, besides rent. Well, his, yeah. his other location. Well, there's and that, that, and then and there's the other internal yeah. issues. Yeah. Um, but I'm hoping they're getting back on their feet. I believe the GoFundMe is still out there for Adventureland, and so, hopefully we'll be doing events with them again. So if you're re-watching this episode on Spotify or through any of our, our videos... Uh, we're going to have a link down below to the GoFundMe. Please contribute to it. They are a great sponsor of ours. We do work with them a lot. And I know it mean a lot to us and to them if they can get their feet back on the ground. And I think the coolest thing is they're pretty much the only spot in South Jersey you can get these type of experiences. One-on-one -on -one with, like, current superstars. I know you can get, like, the Legends. Yeah. They'll show up at Monster Man. The Legends. But he gets, like, current superstars. So hopefully dun, they get dun, back on their feet. Dun. Hopefully they get past this goddamn pandemic and they can start doing events again. Yeah. I don't know, man. What was it? They went after Wolf. Mm. They did. Ma they maybe did. maybe the rest of the country will wise up. Wolf. Which one? Co they? Governor Wolf. From Governor. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Now but, the question is, where do they go after happen? ours? Well, they're, they're taking back all the regulations that they put in. They so, did that? Yeah, they, they said or it. Or is it in appeals? And the regulations are still there, and they can't let the... Right, the I don't know. Can you appeal the Supreme Court? Oh, yes, you I can. I, I, I guess... You can, you can appeal I, the I think, state Supreme Court. I was going to say, I think the only thing you can do, is you can appeal that to the Supreme Supreme Court, but I don't think they're going to make a... They're, no, no, not, not for this. Yeah, I no, don't think they're going to... They'll, they'll go whatever the state decided, because yeah. uh, following precedent of other state rulings yes. when it comes to their Supreme Court. The state so, Supreme Court doesn't like... The so, Supreme Court doesn't like to interfere with state Supreme Courts unless it's an extremely controversial decision. Yeah, so I, I don't see them being able to really appeal it and win. Okay. Well, private businesses. Because because I think the only one you can appeal to is the Supreme Court, right? Uh, you can also do circuit court. But it would have already that, had to go. That, it would that, already that had to go. It would already had to go through the circuit court, though. I thought it, that's what it went through. I didn't know it went to the state hmm. level. Mm -hmm. I thought it went through. Yeah. Either way, on the heels of WWE, we'll see. Uh, I was reading on Twitter uh, that from uh, some wrestler insider. That his current WWE superstar did not re-sign their contract. That's right. We do not know who it is. The source that the Twitter oh. says it is not a good idea to disclose it at this time. The Rock. I'm assuming because of storyline projections. It's weird because they let uh, they let Brock Lesnar's contract lapse. They let Russo. Uh, oh, that was that was back in May they, or April. They released him. I'm still catching up on my wrestling news. Um, Kurt Angle, they didn't resign, mm -hmm. <clears throat> though he still does one-off appearances. Rey Mysterio uh -oh. has been on TV and has really been working on a handshake deal for the last month. But it's and, because of his son Dominic, and he has been wrestling without a contract. Yes, it's damn, like day -to -day, it's like a day-to-day -day contract. Yeah, and on top of that, and and it, this part of the speculation is that they always wanted Dominic to step in. Mm -hmm. because it, then that leads to that dynasty that the WWE loves to have, like father-like-son match. 
considering they lost the Guerrero one. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Damn. So many believe that Rey Mysterio is upset that they're pushing Dominic this early. I think that's the only reason why he stuck around is because Dominic got a SummerSlam match. He's been on Monday Night Raw, and he's going one-on-one with Seth. Uh, they just re-signed Jeff Hardy. I saw that one. Which was a shocker because his brother's over in AEW, and there was a good chance you would think he would jump. Yeah. But then again, WWE sucks Jeff Hardy's dick. They love Jeff. They hate Matt. And when uh, Matt showed up in TNA, Jeff took a back seat. Damn. They probably do better separate companies away from each other because yeah. everybody's like, oh, they got a tag team. No, they're good. They're letting them be their single shit. Nah. So if I had to guess, it might be Mysterio they're talking about. Um, it's a girl. Yeah. It's a diva. Most of them are, were locked into five-year contracts last year. Uh, the only one who might not be is Seth Rollins. Which would make sense if it's going up against Dominic. What a way to go out. Yes. Then by ushering the new era of the Guerreros. But I don't think Seth would leave because of Becky. Well, didn't Otis leave recently too? Uh, Ambrose did. Dean Ambrose. Okay. No, no, I thought he's, Otis. He's John Max- Moxley. Uh, Otis. Big heavy set guy that stepped on the ladder on the um, Money in the Bank. You know who match? it's going to be? No, he's still there. He is? I thought he left. He's still Money in the Bank guy. Oh. It's going to be Vince McMahon. Hopefully. <laughs> Vince McMahon refused to he sign Vince to. McMahon. That man. Some of the I'm shit just saying have. it, man, right now. So <laughs> That's what's going to happen. This isn't a wrestling podcast, but they show up on a Monday, and they hand him a script on like a Sunday night, and Monday, three hours before they go live, he, goes, he rips it up and goes, we're starting again. They have gone live this summer with yeah. the show and not finished the, writing the show. I like it. <sighs> it's ridiculous. But uh, my guess would be probably Seth. I feel like all the other ones signed in like last year or the year before. Cool. But Ray definitely isn't. Yeah. Brock, they let lapse, but apparently they let Brock lapse all the time. Yeah, it's Brock, it's Brock Lesnar. He he wrestles when he wants to wrestle. He is the superstar name yeah. that can be the big bad heel when they need it. And the moment he goes, hey, AEW, Vince is like, oh, here's more money. Exactly. So Brock just flexes the muscles whenever he needs money. And he doesn't need money because he lives in Saskatoon, Canada. Canada. <laughs> With free health care. Yeah. And, yeah. Boo! So on the topic of wrestlers, though, uh, you mentioned off air in our in our chats that Sasha Banks yes! just recently did a Mandalorian cosplay. What? Oh, no, 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 no. She is in the Mandalorian season two. She, she is in the trailer. What? So the trailer dropped today. Yes, did you see the trailer? I did, but I don't know who she is. The woman so. in the cloak. Okay. That was there and then disappeared after. Yeah, he again, I have oh, no idea who she her? is. That was her. That's I Sasha know. Banks. She's I thought that was a dude. No, I thought that was a dude. I was yeah. looking at it. Was All right. I'm like, That's cool. So she's a Jedi. She could be. We don't know. I, 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 assume, I that assume that that was a Jedi. Was. Yeah, I assume. Set yeah. Up. And yeah. plus, she's kind of has that sort of looks like Jedi robes. A little bit older, but still looks like Jedi robes. And this is going to be after the fall, so. It makes sense. Yeah. So I was stoked. I didn't. I knew she was involved with this season. I did not know they would have made her integral to the plot. I thought it was. She's like, probably oh. not. It's probably a, That's probably that's the, probably their the, only time the, showing up in the, there. The, the, the Jedi that that goes. By the way, you can find the Jedi at, and it just dies. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Ben. Uh, <laughs> she gets suplexed by the Mandalorian. <laughs> And then it's like, she's dead. What the hell happened? That makes sense. Uh, I did think it was interesting. They left out a major character in the trailer. Grand Moff Gideon. Uh, Breaking Bad Guy? Yeah, Breaking Bad Guy. Oh. Garen, yeah. I can't see. I can't see. Uh, I would assume, I mean. He wasn't in it. We only got like five minutes of him in the other fucking season. And he's supposed to be the big baddie. And he has the dark saber. I know. The dark saber's neat. But I don't know how much... Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where the season's going, because obviously he's going to be running. It seems like they're trying to take the child home. Well, yes. well, I don't know if they're trying to take. No, it, it, it is to bring. It seemed like the child home. was. They're trying to bring the child to the Jedi. I no no no. I don't know. If not it's even the Jedi. Home. Its own race. They say it needs the child needs to go back to its own race. They are addressing the Yoda uh, clan, whatever it is. I don't think so, but we'll see. Well, this is a good segue. Yeah. Did a certain somebody on the certain YouTubes have anything to say? Well, yeah. You said it as well. You showed a, what's called, uh, what's her name? Sasha Banks. Yeah. Sasha Banks? No. 
uh, Daisy Ridley had that interview, and like everyone yeah. was talking about it, including she him. Was almost a Kenobi. Uh, yeah, basically, where you know, she basically said they had no fucking clue what they were doing. They didn't know who the father, her parents were. And then, I guess, in the last episode, it was written that she was supposed to be a Kenobi, I think it was. And then, last minute, they scratched it. It, it was so, a fucking disaster. What you're saying you actually is, watched the, interview. the day before they filmed, they finalized the script. Well, they she, got to no, filming, she said, ripped up the script, and said, fuck it, we'll tape it live. Well, she said she had no idea. She had no idea until the movie came out who the fuck her parents were. Well, I mean, Luke didn't know his parents until the movie came out. Because it was just a, work twice. It was a fucking disaster, yeah. She had to have known. That's what she's claiming. She you said had to do a scene with them. It yeah, but they, did, but they did other scenes. Uh, they said that they shot over six hours worth of fucking content. That, that's the whole problem mm. with it. So, so many she didn't reshoots. Know what they pieced together. She had no idea. There was apparently like two or three separate storylines. Kathleen yeah. Kennedy got her fucking shit involved. So she had absolutely no idea what so line they were going down. Release the Kenobi cut. <laughs> release the Kenobi cut. <laughs> so it was. It's. It's like. Uh, Palpatine wasn't even supposed to be fucking in this one. It was supposed to be some other guy that was supposed to be like his uh apprentice. He was not. He's supposed to Plagueis jump. He's supposed to jump into like uh, a, a vessel or whatever. And it was this other Darth Maul. What, what Snoke was supposed to be? Yeah, it, it was a fucking. It, it was just a straight disaster. And uh, and I told you, I told you about that. Like they're supposed to be fighting and then force jumping in between all the. The whole the big ending was supposed to be them force jumping in between all the planets you that we've ever visited. The Rebels episode where there was the what was it called the room? There was a room. The room. The room where Ezra pretty much pulls Ahsoka through. Oh so yeah, Vader the mirror thing. Yeah, I have not seen it. Okay, watch that. Okay, it could be integral to the Mandalorian season two. Could okay. be. So because that that could be a way of reconning, basically, seven, eight, and nine. So I'm going to be a little blasphemous. Blasphemous. I have okay, not well, seen you had a good run here. Any, any of the Mandalorian. <laughs> I know. I That's know. That's the best thing going yeah. for Star Wars right now. Yeah, but I, if you don't I have do... Disney, the only problem is if you don't have Disney Plus, it's, I mean, I can see it. I refuse that, that, to buy it. That's the only problem is it, if you don't have, like, I have a kid, so it makes sense. And if you're not really into Disney stuff, there's no real reason to buy it. I don't have a kid and I bought it. <laughs> That's because you're into Marvel. You're into a lot package. of what Disney owns now. Yeah. I have a Hulu package, too. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I've never seen The Mandalorian. So when I watched the trailer for season two, he kept saying, this is the way. This is the way. That was the Mandalorian. That's the Mandalorian way. That's the Mandalorian way. Because mm -hmm. that was the whole focus. And I was like, if this is all he says. It was a repetitive theme in the first yeah, season. It was the first season okay. as well, yeah. Where the clan he was with, I was this is the way. I was afraid this it was going to be way. season eight of Game of Thrones, where it was, I don't want it. She's my queen. Or whatever else Jon Snow said. He only had four lines of dialogue. Actually, I don't even know if his queen's alive or not anymore. I, I bet she she, she was beating the fuck out of all those people, but I don't know if she got. She might have got. We don't know if she got out of the thing or not. Because they alluded that most of the clan died. Exactly. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Uh, it's okay. Um, he returns back to uh, whatever. I don't even know the plan they were on. Oh God, I don't even know either. But he returns back to the bounty yeah. where the bounty hunters meet to get their assignments, yeah. and he underneath that city was the Mandalorians hiding. Yeah. And yeah. when he returned, I was all gone. There was a lot of armor, but no bodies. Wow. Yeah. And then the queen was smelting down their armor because of the uh, the metal. It's they want the metal basically. Yeah. yeah. So that was the, where we left them. It was good to see that they brought back the girl and the guy, uh, Carl Weathers and <laughs> Carl Weathers. I, I don't know what their character name is. What? Uh, I, I I don't know. Deadpool too. I don't Deadpool. know if that girl's gonna like. I mean, she showed up in it, but I thought that he left her on the other. Unless he's gonna go back and pick her up. I thought she stayed back with him, Carl Weathers. I'm so fucking so. I'm kind of confused on that one. It's basically, how the season one, I assumed that she was breaking off at that point. But I mean, I guess. Well, she was kind of in know. hiding because she used to. She was a paratrooper for. She was uh, a. For the rebels. Not a paratrooper. What? Yeah, a shock trooper or whatever. Yeah, for the uh, during the Battle of Endor and shit. Yeah. yeah. So we know that with Mandalorian season two, that the the objective is to bring the child either back to the Jedi or to it to its own. Yeah. culture because if, if you watch what's called they're talking he says you want me to take the child to a bunch of sorcerers yeah, yeah. which is in reference to the yeah. jedi so that's yeah. what i'm saying he's trying to get him to the jedi which that's the one thing i don't get i get that like you know most of them were exterminated with order 66 yes but how do you not know your history 
there was only what 18 years difference between the genocide of the Jedi and a new hope and everybody's yeah. like oh uh, well maybe when he got 30 years but, out but he might not know he's probably well, one, he, he probably, man. he was probably a baby, like, you saw him when he was a kid. That was probably the end of the Jedi. Well, obviously, it was in the Clone Wars, because the Jordan right. was there. Yeah, so I'm saying that's probably the very end of it, and he's probably never seen a Jedi before. But it, even in talking, like, it wouldn't just be passed down. Especially in a but, Mandalorian but where, culture, but, but where you're, he was passed down but history. You're in the Outer Rim. Because we're going in the Outer Rim area. So Jedi, in that type of, in that area, is not... People as that, well the, known. The people that can manipulate yeah. items with their hands. They're not as thoughts. well known as in the core the systems. But that wasn't done. That, I mean, there were Jedi there, but they weren't like. There's mostly done with, uh, with, like foot soldiers. It's not like the the Jedi were really just the gen generals and stuff. Right. You understand? What I'm, I'm trying to say like you don't. Have, they don't. And plus, most of the fucking <laughs> civilians at that point are fucking running and hiding. They're not paying attention to the fucking battle. I, I can see it now. The core worlds. I would agree with you. That that that's what kind of killed me with. Uh, uh, Force Awakens pissed me off when yeah. they said, "Oh, the Jedi were real." Are you fucking kidding? That you one report to Kylo Ren. He's a yeah. Sith. Now that one doesn't make any sense to me because that you're in most of the core world, so that one makes no sense. The Outer Rim, I I can give the fact that they probably never seen a Jedi and because they didn't really go out that far, and when they yeah. did, they brought their army with them, and they're really just generals. Yeah. So unless you're actually, you know, fucking somebody just like, oh, what's going on over here? As they're fucking shooting each other and you see somebody with a lightsaber. But I, I can give a pass on that. It's just the fucking... The core worlds. The core worlds. You, that's just fucking ridiculous if you say, what? They're real? I felt like fucking... Are you? I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Yes. Are you fucking kidding me? And then Han Solo has to be the one that goes, yes, it's all real. It's like, come on. <laughs> yeah. He was the skeptic. I didn't get why he was a fucking skeptic. I, I don't know. I'm, I was just, whatever. I was just, this is fucking nuts. Either here or there. I'm excited for season two. Uh, it's Same. It's nice to get new fucking content for once. I wonder if they'll release season two and three closer together instead of having such a, such a long... Uh, Did they film season three? Uh, They're going to film... Well, you're right. They're going to film yeah. three and four at the same time. I think you're going to get Marvel peppered in the middle. As yeah. the selling point to stay for like quarter one. Quarter well, no, I think two. he's right. I don't think they next start shooting it. They're going to shoot three and four at the same time. Yeah. They probably have the scripts written. Now the issue is with the pandemic. How do we film? Yeah. Because then you have the Robert Pattinson. Well, no, I scene. already said we already said yeah. that on the show. God I'm damn just, it! I'm just well, reinforcing. I here. think the interesting note is the, that the Mandalorian set because of how unique it is. I'm, there's a behind the scenes thing that's on the uh, Disney Plus as well. Hmm. Thor: Love and Thunder. Yeah, is using the same Thor. set to record to film the next Thor movie. I like it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. They're going to go one one location and use the set that the because yeah. the way they used it was it's on like a isn't the military yeah. base or is this yeah. it's yeah it's so like a rotating set where basically it's like this big ass screen and if you're running it looks like this you're not you're running in place but the scenery is yeah. moving behind you so it's kind of going back to old school if you think about yeah. it yeah. But better because they have technology. But, yeah. That's right. But Thor will be shooting on that stuff. I like wow. it. Wow. Yeah, I was shocked because there, there were most of the Marvel yeah. movies jumped like six to seven locations. They're mm -hmm. staying right in that military base. Yeah. Which makes sense. But like I said, they, they they pretty much bought out an abandoned military base and they're just abusing that. They use it for the the final Star Wars. Sorry, I forgot the name of it because they're all fucking garbage. Rise, Rise Skywalker. Skywalker. Rise Skywalker. So I guess they just bought out whatever that military base was where they did a lot of the shoots at. Um, and then they're just going to bubble everything there. Well, to keep on the Star Wars topic. Topic of Star Wars. Squadrons. It's coming out October Squadron. 20th. I see. I'm all, Wait a minute. I keep forgetting to check. I'm almost positive I'm seeing that show up in the Twitch. I... Is that beta out? Uh, well, I was just wondering. Is there, are those people actually playing? Why? I hate you for an ad? It could be an ad. I because I've reserved it and I don't have access to it yet. Uh, I, well, well, let's talk about the reveal of it though. A six-minute short. I of, didn't see it, which is, is sad to me. Oh my god! It is by far the best Star Wars short I have ever seen, hands down. Uh, when's it take place? Is it after Return of the Jedi? Uh, never mind. I want to say during, or like right like after the Battle of Endor. Yeah, it's like right at the end. So is Battlefront 2. I really think they're ripping from fucking Battlefront 2. They have to. Because you got your TIE Always. fighter, you got your rebel. Uh, the TIE fighter tries to fly, tries to go back to the 
it's the retreat. Point. Yeah, they're start, they're starting the retreat. The guy doesn't make it. He just misses it. He's got to hide out in the debris. Debris, man. Lights off, complete incognito. One time, one 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 rebel stays. Okay. Scouring, just turns into a five minute just cat and mouse. Sky X-Win shooter looking for okay. And it's it's by far it's as a roller coaster of emotions. I recommend you guys watching it tonight. I definitely will. I kind of wish you guys did watch it because yeah. it is really good. It's also going to be horrible. a VR game because I know you, you like Beat Saber. I do. I love Beat Saber. I have Vader Immortal. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited for that. Uh oh. So I mean, do you get motion sickness with yours? Oh, because it's... Squadrons is going to be a flight simulator, from my understanding. So right? Is there a special controller for it? It's the VR. Right, but like, do I have to use the goddamn move sticks? I would yeah. imagine. They suck. Mainly because as a PlayStation player, you're used to the the, the configuration there. It's yeah. different on the move because it's four corners Ooh. rather than like the diamond. Yeah. That you're used to it's it's weird. Yeah. Damn. Well, hopefully that they have the layout like mapped mm-hmm. to be make it comfortable. Because if you're playing a, playing a normal game that got basically modded to VR, the button map probably didn't probably just stayed the same. They probably got lazy. But this is a custom game from the ground up. But there are certain games you can use the PS4 controller and still play. That's right. Ooh, you might be able to use the controller. Which, I'd be down with that then. Yeah. Because you just get you get the experience that you're in the cockpit, but you're using the PS4 controller, which that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Borderlands does that. Nope. Um, as does this weird mouse game. Mouse. Game. There's some kind of mouse game that came out with the VR as one of the launch things. Oh, okay. I haven't tried the Iron Man one either, but. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, any more uh, opinions on Squadrons? It comes out October 20th for the PS4. Going to be a disaster. Xbox. Probably. It is. We're still concerned about the uh, price point on it. The uh, Xbox or PS4? It's forty nine ninety nine. No, it's thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah, rather than the normal fifty nine ninety nine. So it's $20, it's $20 cheaper, cheaper than a normal game. And it's EA. For a AAA title. Yeah. That, that that might have microtransactions in it? That's that, that, that they, they, they already it? said that there's no microtransactions in it. Um, and I think that's because Battle State of Cal- well, no, State of California just opened a lawsuit against them. Good. Fuck it. I opened up a lawsuit against them, Activision Blizzard, and... Blizzard. I already forgot who the other one was. But they opened up all three of them because yeah. of fucking loot boxes and again. And I believe some of the European courts have started Come going off. after that. Yeah. 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 As well. So, I mean... On they, that, the crazy thing sense. is, the crazy thing is, they went after them on their sport games, <laughs> which I thought with that to me was actually kind of wow. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're shoot first person shooters and you're fucking yeah, because that that's just literally a fucking rehash every fucking year. It's nothing changed. Yeah, <laughs> and yet that's where you that's where you have the fucking problem with. <laughs> and yet, still somehow glitchier than the year before. Yeah, but um, yeah, they've had a couple of them actually have already ruled against EA. On wow, uh, their feet because FIFA is big over there because obviously they're in the, into their football, uh, football, but soccer, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that one does really well over there, and that's what they they lost the the battle against. And uh, EA said, "Fuck you," <laughs> and I don't know. Uh, I actually have no idea where it went from there. You know, what probably be DLC passes every month for like a year. I have to pay an additional ten or fifteen dollars. Fucking Star Wars Battlefront yeah. Two just started releasing the shit for free. Ooh. Well, that's if you're based off commission on that fucking bullshit yeah. for that game, I'd be pissed. But that's only because I guarantee that was the mouse doing because of all the backlash. Uh-huh. Listen here, you fuckers. Yeah. Ruin a franchise. We've already done our part to ruin well, the franchise. But the problem is they did that. You get to. And the majority of the people have already backed out of that game because of all the fucking shit that like never went back. Yeah, me either. I want to. They've added so much content that makes it look fun. Yeah, but now I'm just in debt. I'm into other games and moved on. <laughs> yeah, that's you that's their whole. Window. Yeah, that's their whole problem. I'm surprised they haven't uh, made a uh, battle royale game yet. <laughs> well, that's going to be introduced with the squad. <laughs> to be fucking be the honest, first VR battle royale game, Apex Season Seven. Yeah, actually, that <laughs> wouldn't actually be a bad idea either. First battle royale that's in space. Yeah, that would be cool. Well, yeah, because then, 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 then you got to think up, down, as well as left, right. Yeah, much more. So you have a big cube, and then you know the circle shrinks. somewhere and it shrinks. It. Yeah, it'd be kind of neat. Yeah, I won't lie, it'll be that neat. That would be cool. I don't know how to. So if that's do it. not the case in October, yeah, if that's not the case in October, we need to get on this. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
If that's all we got for Star Wars, I got some Marvel news. A uh, casting announcement was made in the past week. They're all dead. Um, which, to me, should have been the Phase 4, 5, 6 big baddie, but for whatever reason, he's the Ant-Man and Wasp baddie for Ant-Man 3. Oh. They're bringing in Kang the Conqueror. Woo! You never know. He might, he, he might just be where he starts out. And then or they into. Ultron the bitch, and it's a one-done thing. Ultron is one of their fiercest enemies, and they made him a bitch. Well, it's because he is a bitch. He's not a bitch. He's a bitch. He's not a bitch. He's a straight out he bitch. Was. He was. He was a toddler in the movies. That's yeah. right. He didn't know what he was doing. But Kang, mommy. And the other interesting note is Kang the Conqueror, and I don't want to make this a race thing. He's black. He's oh black man. Does that mean Mister Fantastic will be black? Yes. Yeah, you're probably right. It's time. It's time for. Pac it's not gonna be Mister. It's, it's gonna time be Mrs. For Pac to have equal representation. So in movies. I just want to throw this out there: fantasy casting. Who would be Mister Fantastic? I say Bernard from Westworld. That's a good call. Uh, the guy that plays Kusaf Frank yeah. in the Breaking Bad oh universe. Oh my god! Yes. Just just watching him but walk up and just start going da 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 arm stretch. But he's a, he's Hispanic though, right? He's not African American. He can pass. <laughs> he can pass. Yeah. I don't think they could do that anymore, <laughs> sir. Just, um, get, just get some uh, different that toner. Would be a fucking, be fine. That would be a fucking twist. If Disney brought him in and be like, no, you're the, you're the superhero. Yeah. <laughs> he'll be like, I don't know what to do. I'm going to kill the world. <laughs> <laughs> just slowly phase five turns into yeah. Gustav Fring uh, taking over the Marvel world. Would you like some fried chicken? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think it's interesting because if, if they stick with that lineage of that he's Reed Richards' great-grandson great -great -grandson or some bullshit like that, Will Mr. Fantastic be African American? And if so, again, my my vote would be Bernard from Westworld. I think he's great. Mr. Fantastic is supposed to be on the intelligence level of like a Tony Stark. Yep. Um, I think in the heyday, Morgan Freeman would have made a good one. That's that's. I was actually I mean, thinking that. I, I think you can CGI. You got an eighty-year-old Morgan Freeman going out there like I'm gonna make a group. <laughs> that's right, man. Why not? Uh, Anyone else you can think of? Maybe Denzel Washington? Is he too old? He's, a, he's a little yeah. too old. He is a little uh, too old right now. Lil Wayne? I think he missed the mark on that one. <laughs> well, well, no. What about the guy, the the, the, the guy from Star Wars? Oh, John Boyega. John Boyega, the one who loves the mouse so much right now. I mean that that would uh, what, what is, what is that, that would actually wouldn't be that bad. That would be a great yeah. like. Look, uh, we're sorry that we effed you up with this. Like, hi, let us make you but, the but, leading. But, but, let us make you the leading star. For well, the, the, next the few only days issue is you're gonna have to age him. So <laughs> he's a little too young. No, uh, they did that to the, when they did the uh, Fox one. They just put the gray shirt yeah. in his hair. I was just gonna say because he needs to be probably in his late forties, early fifties, right? Or he can be an early scientist. Do you think he would take it? I think he would. I mean, because he just Dis Disney will hand him money. I, I think I don't know his, his at least his. I, I, very anti I mean, my, my only thing here anti, is like Kathleen if it's going to be a main character like this, I don't think they're going to use a big name. That Usually their big names are usually more... The side character? Side, well, not a side character, but like the big baddie or somebody who's just there for one or two episodes. All their heroes are big names. They became big doing Chris what Evans they do. Way what did he do? Beforehand. What did he do before he that? He was in the first Fantastic Four. He was in not another teen movie. He was in friggin' never uh, heard. All right, Fantastic. I don't even remember, no, but cabin, okay. The cabin, the cabin in the woods. Was, that was Chris Hemsworth. No, they were both in it. Okay. I thought they were both in it. Uh, I remember watching it going. There's a lot of Marvel Chris people Evans in this movie. Was a prick. So he was. <laughs> the only one I would say is probably Scott a Pilgrim. big name is uh, yeah. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. But that. Crackhead. But that was. <laughs> but that was the. First, the starting. I don't think they actually envisioned Bruce the Marvel Banner. Universe being what the Marvel Universe is. Yeah, Bruce Banner was when it happens. Ed Norton, Fight Club, American History X. All right, whatever. And then you got Mark Ruffalo. And he had Terrence Howard as fucking War Machine, and then you went with Don Cheadle. I, I don't think they're going to go with a big name. You know why he doesn't think it's big names? Because none of them have been Nick Cage. That's, that's, that's right. He's saying. That's, that's right. Big. Well, no, if uh, you just think about it, most of their stuff that is coming out newer as of late, after I would say probably, what, the first round, they've all been relatively smaller people. Would you consider John Boyega a big name? What else has he done? I would, that's what I'm saying. To me, that would make sense. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, but I don't know, I don't know if he would do it, though. Or but, does yeah. he step into the role of Black Panther? 
Oh, oh he would be I a mean, good Black Panther. He would actually be. That's yeah. a very good point. That would be really good. Because he's already trained in fighting. Yeah, maybe yeah. he's not T'Challa, but maybe he's the next Wakandan to take over the. Man. He's yeah. the prince that has been absent throughout the entire series so far. That one would actually be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, I, again, yeah, but I don't know if I don't know I don't know if that's a writing nightmare though. I, I, that is a writing. I, nightmare. I, well, I I actually question if somebody would want to take over that no, role that, that, that that's more of where i think you would have an issue the, the here. solidarity of actors going look we got to respect just because of yeah like I mean, maybe like maybe one 10 movie. years down the line maybe but like not right not anytime right soon yeah not yeah not anytime soon I, I think the first movie he'll be absent and then then after that they'll replace yeah. But I, uh, I honestly think when it comes I, to John Boyega, I would Boyega, still rather do the sister. I don't think John Boyega mean. is actually going to would take anything. The, the, the negative press he's been doing against the mouse, and then he just left well, the perfume company because they. I don't know if it's against him in China. Like, I don't, the Chinese <laughs> government said no, we want a different actor, yeah. and he just left the perfume company completely. Yeah, it, I don't he's think it, I don't think it was really the no, mouse that he was going after. Is more so Star Wars, <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy, and them. But he hasn't. He why not? Gra granted, it is. He clearly doesn't ma ba mind bad mouthing Disney. Well, that's well, obviously to be fair. To, to be fair, if well, you're, you're you're giving your. First I mean, honestly, I blame Disney. They allow fucking Kenny to do fuck get away with murder. They didn't know what they didn't know. Bullshit! That first Force Awakens was the highest grossing Star Wars movie right, ever. That's fine. Then you make the second, and it was still high grossing. Oh, but all the backlash you got you out of EA, in. out of EA, you didn't That's realize. Like decision. Uh, yeah. video game well, first off, I would say the only thing that re I think kind of threw them through loop is the first, the, obviously, the Force Solo Awakens. Bombing Solo bombing. Solo. Well, I was going to say, I think the real thing that really saved her was what's called the um, Rogue One. Rogue One was probably by far the best one they came out with. Yeah. Um, and then... The fucking Last Jedi was a fucking shit show. But she had two back-to-back -back hits before that came and out. And my thing is, I don't think Solo was that I I think there was a lot of writing issues in Solo, but I don't think Solo was that bad. Solo got backlash because of Last Jedi. Because of Last Jedi was a fucking shit show. And they put show. it up in May instead of December. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. But, yeah, it's just... I, I don't... So they didn't know what they didn't know. She was three movies over a billion dollars at that point. She, she made three billion dollars in her first three movies. The and writing Solo bombed. And they went. Mm. The writing was on the wall, though. I but mean, Solo. Had two movies after that. It was Solo and Rise of Skywalker. That was it after that. Yeah. So she hasn't done shit. And now Mandalorian's one of the top things. So she's got under her belt four, in theory, successful projects, even though you don't like them. And only two bombs. Not even a bomb. That's a good. That's a still Rise a good track. Rise of Skywalker track didn't bomb by definition. It yeah, still it made nine hundred million dollars. And it cost them almost eight hundred million in production. And that's not including any all of the right, what's Fox called. News, I'm getting the facts. It, or, all right, you look it up. Yeah, that, it, people are speculating at best they broke even on the movie. Just because like I said they did six hours, extensive reshoots. And the reason why it wasn't, a, even if you watched it, there were some issues with uh, the what's called was because they were literally fucking last minute making tweaks to it because of Kathleen Kennedy came in okay, and just so trashed it. Was uh, 275 million, but they went Box well over 1.074 no, no, no. That, billion. That was the original, but they went way over that. W then why wouldn't it be in the fucking notes? Uh, I don't know. Where, where, it went where way did you over get your that story that it was over. Everyone talks about it when they're talking about the movie. It still turned a profit of 300 million dollars. So they made 900, 600, so some million. Bomb. So that she went almost three times more than the fucking actual budget. Like, to me, that is a fucking all colossal failure at that point. On the accounting side, yes. But then like, you also have to... You also no, have when you compare it against the other two, yeah. But it still made money. All right. I don't see where you're... you're like, it, she still made money for the company. They didn't walk away with a loss on a Star Wars property. Solo did. Pretty sure Solo. Like Solo had to, uh, Solo was another one that had fucking massive production That's issues. They fired the first team of writers and directors and then brought Ron Howard. And they they shot more with fucking the rise, like they was they shot more with Rise so of Skywalker. That's what I'm saying. Budget for Solo was three hundred million. Box office was three ninety three. That was a bomb. Yeah. And I think they spent almost five hundred on that in production. Again, you're Where just looking you at the base production. Where are you getting your stats? All right, I'm done. Where'd you get your stats? I'm just saying. I've, I've watched I've so much shit. Stats, 
You pull up I'll, your stats. I'll have to find it. You I'll have to find them. Stats. I'll send them to you when I find Google them. Google right, right now, then you've never seen them if you have to go looking for them. I've wa- You're all just that making fu- shit up. Fox News. Fine. Then it's Jesus. all made up. It's all made up, then. Just show me your source. I showed you mine. Doomcock is a lot of my source here, but that's a different fucking story. A guy who can't name his sources. Well, yeah. But I'm just saying, there's, they spent a lot more money than what you're probably realizing on anyway, these things. And I will agree with you, they probably did make money. But, <laughs> but make money. everyone's saying like it's point. nowhere near what it should have made. No shit. So therefore, it's a no failure. It's, not it's a failure. It's a failure. Make money. It's not a failure. You're going off right. the sense that it bombed. It didn't no. make money. That's what you started this with. You had to. You had to. I, did I was, did they make? You're, you're a passive aggressive yes. bitch. You should have took a stand. Yes. Oh, I. It was the guy started going off. I was like, all right, headphones hey, on. I'm just saying he needs to show me his sources. I agree. He's going to bring it to the argument. Fine. I'll fucking. No, you look need it to up. bring it to the argument. I brought it in the middle of the argument. And you got nothing. You're just like, well, I, I heard. This is what I it's cool. l- heard, all right? You and I'll it find it. well in the heartland. I also, right. heard, I also heard that there's going to be an episode 10 <laughs> secretly in the works. They're going to announce it at the next Disney convention. 10 for are you what? To kill them? Yeah, are you trying? <laughs> this, like, I'm not I heard, curious. I heard, I heard now. there's an episode 10. Well, what 10 is going to be okay, about? Hold on. Where are your fucking yeah. sources? <laughs> I, I, I heard I heard it. I don't know. I heard it no, through, no, I heard it no. through the Dace Man Show Discord. That's not <laughs> yeah. a thing. Like, that uh, you, it, it, has, it has the username is at Chief. The, I'm not sure if that's a credible source or not for this debate. That's the bright part of fucking information when it comes to this podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be great. They're, like I said, they're going to announce at the next Disney convention, episode 10. It's actually going to focus on the pre years of Yoda before he becomes a Jedi. Well, wasn't that the whole idea? Uh, yeah, uh, you're, you're pulling shit out of your ass to keep us going. That's all well, you're doing. I'm actually interested you're like, if there some is. some kindling. <laughs> keep this fire going for another 15 minutes. That's what you're trying to do. Well, I, no, I actually want to talk about the rumor, uh, since we brought Marvel up, that it's a certain... Rumor, to begin with. <laughs> the, the rumor for the big bad. Yeah. Oh, it's that weird... I don't even know who she is. No. Oh. Thanos again? There, there was speculation, I saw on Reddit, that Thanos could be coming back Potentially he for be season Eternals. five. That's because if Eternals come back, Thanos comes back. That is the argument. He could be in a flashback sequence. I don't see any future stuff with Thanos. With the reality stone, they could pull That's him true. out. But they're destroyed in that timeline, are they not? Not less the... I, I, I don't the know. They don't... Really gets, uh, because yeah, you, you have to address the time travel that Captain America did, which they did not address... <laughs> At all, because if Captain America comes back to the future, theoret- retur- after he returned the stones, the stones therefore have to still be in effect on Earth. I was going to say, yeah, the stones all have to be there because they put them all back to where they were. Yeah, so I mean, Thanos destroyed them at the beginning of the end game. But it's a, it's a completely different parallel Earth. If you follow, if you follow Doctor Strange's sensei, she goes sensei. I don't know her fucking name. I'm so Bald confused because I, I thought goes, the very Whoa. end. Tilda she she moves. She Hold moves on. the stone, and another path opens up. How do you not know Tilda Swinton's name? They've been calling you Tilda Swinton for like <laughs> two years now. I like I don't it. pay attention to things. I just go and snap Paul. I'm good. <laughs> I thought what's his name? Snap. Then he died. But the stones were still there. And on the stones the were still there. And then the Avengers then back. took yes, him back. back. Into but, the correct, into the correct point no in the timeline. But there's no Thanos anymore, which means Thanos doesn't do the snap, which means the stones are still in their returning then places. Go, and they don't go back in time to go get them. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because Thanos is dead, the time. stones, the, they brought the stones back ah. into their reality. That's what the time travel was. They brought the stones back into their reality and then replaced it with Thanos being dead at an earlier point in the so timeline. So in, in 2014 is when the timeline would have split. Yes. When that Thanos came forward and died. Yes. So there is a time split where Thanos does die earlier in the timeline because mm-hmm. he jumps. Yeah. He crosses over. Yeah. He jumps forward in time. Uh-huh. And he dies. Uh-huh. They then return the stone. So the 2000. 12 thanos is no longer 14 he's no longer looking for the stones right so technically the stones are back you can grab the reality stone pull thanos back from before he disappeared and disintegrated that that's what that's what What disney and and marvel have to address they have to address how the conclusion of endgame 
They have to. This is what pissed me off from Endgame from the beginning when I left the movie theater. They don't address it, That's so there's the a lot of speculation. Oh, I got a whole rant and rave about Endgame. A soul for a soul stone? You return? How do you return it? And does the soul come back? Does he just flick it off the cliff and go, eh, nothing happened, <laughs> and walk away? Well, <laughs> and you're gonna look. Oh, I didn't I kill you in 1945? <laughs> well, that, that's how Red Skull comes back. Isn't there gonna be a, a new uh, Doctor Strange? Yes, yes. It's so, the end so of Phase Four. it right there? Not uh, thought Spider Man was the end of Phase Four. No, nah, it's they pushed Doctor Strange all the way back. I was gonna say because that would technically address your issue because yeah. if he's got the time stone, then then the stones still exist. That's 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 what I, I, we yeah. need to address. In theory, all these movies that are coming beforehand wouldn't uh, address any of Endgame. Because you have Black Widow, which is between Civil War and Infinity War. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then you have the Eternals that have nothing to do with anything. Shang-Chi, as of right now. As of as right, as right now. now. How about Shang-Chi Loki? has nothing to do with anything. As of right now. Um, and then you have Thor, Love and Thunder. I mean, you've got the Marvel TV shows. You're going to yeah. see what Falcon and Winter Soldier do, but the, I doubt they're going to do anything. They're not going to do that big drop. The yeah, they're not going to do the drop that the stones are still there. One yeah, they will. has the potential to set something up. Because it's one right into the other. She's going to look they, for a they way to might, get vision back. They might go, and the stone's in her hand, and well, they go, see our movie next week. If you if you put the stone back to where it was, it was in vision, wasn't it? The Mind Stone. So wouldn't that mean he's back? But if you we're take it out, he's dead. The timeline where he's dead. Yeah. As so, of right now. That's where we were left off with, with Spider-Man. Well, actually, no. Technically, the Mind Stone was in Loki's scepter when they, when they retrieved it. 2014, it, they would have pulled it out by that point. But they grabbed the scepter to get the Mind Stone. Yeah. Yeah, but again, it was time traveled. Oh, so if they Ultron, have to return it well, back, that means they actually, had to return the stone back to the scepter. Does that mean Ultron? Ultron can come back. Ultron's still a thing then, potentially. Because then the Mind Stone wasn't that what kind of finished that? The Mind Stone corrupted Jarvis and created Ultron. It was it was all part of that thing. They they tapped into the staff which had the yeah. Mind Stone and then yeah. created Ultron. Um, that happened in 2014, 16, 14. Yeah. So I, in 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 reality, no. Age of Ultron was before 2016. No, it was 2015. It was so you got the, the point marker is 2014. Yeah. At least from what Endgame said is when Thanos came, yeah. before Gu- the events of Guardians of the Galaxy, came to. Yeah. The our, our the timeline we're used to. I thought it. I thought they were returning it from when he took of them. He did. Yeah. They did. Yeah. So, so this, he so would have taken zone, it. The space he would have taken back it back to the base. The Soul Stone goes from back onto the mountain. Though. Uh. They got the they got the mind stone from the scepter because they, they had to, to go re-inject- back to Loki. They had to re-inject the reality stone into Natalie Portman's ass. Yeah. What what stone am I missing? Time stone goes back to Tilda Swinton. Yeah. Uh, to her, bold bitch. Sensei. They had to go back. To, Why? They have to put the tesseract back. In Why would it go back to her and not back? But to my Dr. issue Strange. with that is the tesseract was originally in the cube. Yeah. So how do you reconstruct the cube and go? The, you reconstruct the, the ether. Yeah. It's it's there's. How does two- Cap know how to do that? The, like I said, the ending the ending corrupts the ending of Endgame corrupts the Marvel universe. Especially since Tony's the one who did all the work with the stones. Yeah, I'm so confused, but okay. But the key- I, I would have assumed it is when he originally takes it from them, is when it would have went back in. So I would have said Vision would be back because he they would never had the stone removed. In that timeline, yeah. Because you gotta think two thousand fourteen began the Guardians. Thanos has not started his quest for the stones yet. So but, there's no chasing. But if you if you give the stones back to the person that when they took it from Tilda Swinson, she goes from oh. New York to not having the Time Stone, which oh, means Doctor Strange can no longer you, you, defeat. You're... Oh, blah 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 blah. So, so, so you're saying basically because oh, he, you're you're taking what's his name out of the equation. Thanos. Yeah, because he died. Okay, but that that he changes. He killed Thanos at an earlier point in time. But that it's changes baby a Hitler. lot because that changes oh, there's Guardians. No, there's no Guardians. There is no Guardians. Exactly. That that's my whole reason for being pissed with Endgame. And Ronan's yeah. still alive. Yes, Ronan is still alive. Uh, Ronan won't be able to do his uh, conquest though because he doesn't have the power stone. Which means I I, I, I honestly believe that, this, that they are going to reincorporate the stones at the then end. They of, never, at the, but they at also the end never the attacked. Phase. Then that means they never attacked New York either. No, they did. That was 2012. Yeah, but wasn't that all in preference for the stone though? That was for Loki's stone. That was, that was the space stone. That was the one he had that he lent to Loki to go conquer New York. But, again, but he lent it to him. So, therefore, that He's wouldn't have it. happened. 
So he therefore, it would never. They would never attack New York. So therefore, the Avengers would have never no, no, united. No, the stone was already there. We're talking. That's 2012. Thanos left in 2014. Two years after that. Uh, but he so he started some of his rampage and yeah. then he was like, wh- 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 why? Why is it? Why did he jump to the future? Because he goes, all the stones are here. He want everything that I'm working for is right here in this one spot. The the same exact thing that the Avengers did. They they went back to New York because there was three stones in New York. There was everything else. So they Thanos took their idea and just went balls to the wall. I'm going to take what is rightfully and mine. If not, do half this time. Take it down to zero and start new. Because when he did half, the other half came after him. That was the whole line he made. Where'd your failure bring you? Back to me. Mm-hmm. Uh... So anything 2014 onward where he would have influenced, which is primarily the Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, and then destroying Nova. Yep. Nova still exists in that storyline, or that line. I, my guess is Multiverse has to bring those two back together. Yeah. And that's where Does that mean uh, the home world of Thor is still alive? Yeah. Theoretically, as of right now, mm, it is. That one might have still died. Because I think it was Hela. It had nothing to do with the Infinity Stones that went on there. But Hela? Ha- um. The only thing that wouldn't, might have been is that Thor wouldn't have been doing his journey to go figure out the Infinity Stones. Well, he might have still, because it would have been a, it still would have been the third that turned up for And him. you know what? You know what? The, and Thor, God of Thunder, the one that's coming out. Love and Thunder. Love and Thunder might tie into his vision that he had in Thor 2. Which is searching for the stones. Yep. Well, that was whole Ragnarok. I thought the vision was in Ultron. Yeah, so he saw the stones. He's like, I need to quest to find all yeah. of this. Because at the end of Ultron, he had encountered three. The Mind yeah. Stone, the Reality Stone, and the Space Stone. Yeah. And that's why he went on his journey, which left Asgard unguarded for Loki to take over. So those events still could have happened. They may have changed a little bit. Because obviously after yeah. they leave New As, the, their entire Asgardian race would have made it to Earth. Asgard. Yeah, so New Asgard is still a thing. Yeah. Loki'd still be alive in that timeline, too. Yeah. So, I mean, do you think there's any speculation? Going over this timeline, do you think there's any any truth to the speculation that Thanos can, will come back at some point in the Marvel Universe? Possibly. Multiverse, yeah, the, the potential. I thought this was a... Per- that Everything you're mad about is a perfect reason for Kang to come back. They're yes. part of, like, the time police. He's the conqueror using the timeline. Why the fuck wouldn't he get pissed off at this divergence? Ego yeah. would still be alive. Ego, yep. Ego, whatever yeah. his name is, because he also, would he would never found what's his name at that point. And you know what? Peter would have made that deal and walked away because Gamora wouldn't have stopped him. Gamora stayed in twenty twenty. Yeah, but ready? You know why Kane would go after Ant Man first? He fucked with the multiverse first. He's the one that built it. Yeah. He built he built the machine for the timeline. The van. He would still have the van. Exactly. So he'd be like, oh. so that would be the introduction because at the, remember at the end of the phase one, as they introduced Thanos, it was a slow gradual build. Well, this could be a, he's oh, coming in to fuck shit up. He's going did, to lose, he but he's not, it? he's going to keep going. Hank Pym did. Michael Douglas, the older one. Yeah. He created the first one where Scott got stuck in the quantum realm. Yeah. And then Banner and Stark took the quantum realm technology and created the time travel technology. So Kang may see those two as the threat to go after first. Yeah. Which could be a retro film. So there's a lot of possibilities going into these new movies. I guess. Especially when we had some time to digest. It's been about a year since Endgame, right? And m- most of the times I have experienced Kang, he goes after Cap because he's the man out of time. Usually he grabs him or goes after him because but now he's... everyone's out of time. Yeah. The, yeah, there ain't a single fucking person, right? Because you have two timelines going. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. And the, the crazy thing is we have, can do nothing but speculate because this stupid pandemic. We should have been two movies deep by now. Two movies and a TV show deep. Yeah. I think uh, you would have had more than just one TV show. Uh, WandaVision we, was always scheduled for December. I we will be, we I will think, be hyping I WandaVision. think they would have Pull things forward pushed because... things forward because I think they're realizing, especially after um, The Mandalorian. And the year gap of content. Yeah, the, I think they would have started really pushing things forward. Maybe not release the whole thing. Maybe do half and half or something. I don't know. I, I think they would have pushed. I think they would have moved things a lot more things forward. At, at this point, we would have had Black Window, Widow, Winter Soldier, and Falcon, and then the Eternals would have been debuting at the end of this month. I think. Yeah. yeah, which sucks. Now the Eternals aren't debuting until February. Black Widow's November. Who knows when the fucking Disney Plus shows are gonna drop? Yeah. I did not expect Mandalorian. I'm excited for it. Did not really honestly expect it. I didn't know how much they had filmed. 
So. Well, they, they, I think they, they kind of were bubbled already. It was, I think, the reason why they were able to finish shooting. Which makes sense. Um, I guess they didn't have to do any reshoots, or if they needed to do reshoots, they just said, fuck it. <laughs> they could always use a different actor, because I've heard that there's been like five fucking actors in the Mandalorian outfit. Uh, oh, that's actually not a bit. That's true, because all you need you just voiceover. you just need one person to do the voice. Yeah. yeah, there's only I think like a couple times he was actually in the costume. Obviously, the one where they take off the helmet, but the rest of them is like it was crapshoot of it was him and not. Yeah, interesting. Dan Harmon made that joke during the community table read when they had him on to play the role of um, the lawyer for uh, Chevy Chase's yeah. character. He's like, oh, the Mandalorian. I think there's like five of you. Who knows? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of our show in a nutshell. We got four minutes left. We're going to go around the table to do final thoughts. Any news you want to talk about that we didn't get to because we totally argued about <laughs> Star Wars again. This is just a Star and Marvel. Wars podcast. Disney. And Marvel. And, and Marvel. I was going to say, it's Disney podcast. We started Marvel. We said John Boyega, and we went down the Star Wars part. That's right. Which we never settled of. <laughs> John Boyega. I don't think he would come. I, I think he's so well, bitter I mean, at the Disney experience. Well, so, so, so let me explain why I think he will take the part. Cash. Money? <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, so so his his great. frustration, his frustration, stems from being cast in Star Wars. I don't. He's told. He's told. Let me finish. He 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 sat right. down. Mm -hmm. He sat down with with an agent. Agent yeah. White. Look, you got a, a major part in Star Wars coming up. Well, You're gonna play it. a vital role. And then slowly, he just gets cut. Well, they build it like Force yeah. Awakens. He was a major. Imagine, part of it. imagine he was. that. Imagine those negotiations. Imagine those negotiations. They probably hyped him up to sign. Oh, yeah. And then The Last Jedi, they went, okay, all you guys, we're not doing shit with you. Yeah, exactly. So what better way to right that wrong Can than going, look, you, you are a comic book nerd. You've, you're engrossed in this atmosphere right now with the fans. Read Richards. Re read this. This is the part we want for you. This is the direction because of all these other movies that we have. You are guaranteed this spot and this storyline for full transparency. Well, that will make him sign for Disney. Let me just throw in one little hypothetical. Go for it. He did get upset. Uh, one of his gripes about the Star Wars franchise was the fact that he was a stormtrooper. And the first response to his first appearance as a stormtrooper was, Oh, they can't be black. <laughs> Do you not think he wouldn't get the same reaction if he was Mr. Fantastic? But isn't it his son black? Uh, but it's gonna, it's well, gonna be right so, now, yeah, it's can. it's still gonna be yeah it's still but gonna be an get issue. Some backlash for yeah. He'll get some Reed backlash. Yeah. Was white in the comics. Granted, it's written by a white guy. So Honestly, fuck nerds. Granted, making him fuck fucking Black Panther makes so I don't much more shit. sense. Hi, I'm the host. How are you? Oh shit! Of course, I just turned off my phone. We do because we we're do shut the down. We do. There's a little bit of a time delay, about 20, 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, we uh, are wrapping up, but do you have anything to say as that. well? Because we will <laughs> stay a little late and talk to you as well. Just uh, type in, type down in the chat what you want to hear hear us well, talk about. But back to the, to the original yeah. point, because I'll, I'll run a little bit longer, because yeah. I, I think this conversation holds merit. No, it doesn't. Um, do you think, because one of his arguments in his, and he has every right to be upset about it. Exactly. Is the fact that uh, people reacted to the Stormtrooper reveal, taking off the helmet and you know, saying, who's an African-American, oh, they can't be black. Yeah. I didn't react that way. Only I didn't the, care uh, for the fact that um, at that point you they weren't clones. clones yeah, that, that, that's all. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. They're not clones. If you're gonna recruit people, even if, even if it showed up as well, an alien, I wouldn't. Was, they would not have pissed me off. In, in the first, it, to me, it's actually more harmful the fact that you always think a stormtrooper is a fucking human. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You have this entire galaxy, and there's yeah. not any aliens in there. Yeah, those? they're all fucking human for some reason. That that doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Hi. Oh, you thought this wasn't a live stream? My bad. We are live. I don't I Ish. say anything live there, but um, he Yay! had a bad experience from that because the Star Wars fan base is absolutely toxic. Yes. Yeah. And also during the first trailer, you argued right there. Yeah, during the first <laughs> trailer, when they you see you see the uh, trident lightsaber go up, they went, "Oh my God, we have a black we have a black Jedi." Oh yeah, when he he had the Jedi, I I, I thought he I thought the whole story was him. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was out of left field to me that it was going to be Ray. Actually, I was actually kind. Of, I thought maybe he would be have Jedi tendencies well, or that, that's, slow that's, that's going down at some point. Yeah. yeah, that's going down into the whole script because they hint at it in every single movie. Uh, well, I think the well they only really the last Jedi they wrote him off, and that's the problem with having yeah. three different or two mm -hmm. different cooks in the kitchen. Yeah, because JJ brought it back in Rise of Skywalker where he kind of had dialogue that said, "Land here, something. land here." I feel it here, and then that's where they went. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like yeah. he like he was now he was exploring it. It's like well now he's got such a sour taste in his mouth because you just left three movies unanswered with him. Yeah. Will he come back for a fourth movie to justify that? No. He's already said no. He's already said no. Unless well, it could be the Kathleen Kennedy case that if she's not there, he may come back in. If you get someone like John Favreau or Dave Filoni writing the story, Finn well, could be a great character. They all oh, I love character. I love his character. It's a I great development. He, the problem is I don't. <laughs> Okay, well, this just... We just lost Gibby. No, i got to extend another hour, because he's going to tell you his uh, Mary Sue theory. (laughs) How would you say he had great development? That doesn't even make great great potential potential for character development, because he was... Potential after the first one, yes. Second one, no. Third one, I have no idea, because he wasn't the first one or the second one. It made no fucking... He was probably the most disheveled character in the fucking series. And that's his great... That is his his, yeah. his interview was that to the yeah team. like you have you have no fucking what was he trying to tell Ray the entire time? Who the fuck knows? I love you. I know. That's kind of where they were going. And then he <laughs> her, what I like to call second cousin. <laughs> I don't fucking get it. No, uh, I, I feel like they did Poe Dameron a disservice. Yes, I they thought did. he was going to be the next Han Solo type character. Poe was good Shai. again. He was good in the in the first one. The, the second one just destroyed all character development, and then they built characters they didn't use anymore. They built. Hodo. They should have never have killed Snoke. I don't know why the fuck he did. Like they're just the the, the fucking Last Jedi screwed so much in that entire. Like it's unbelievable. God, that is so small text, man. I can't deal with it. Oh, we have a screen it. up here. That's why we're talking to... That's why we look up. We have a chat there, and that's how we see the screen. So yeah. above here, you can't see it on the camera, but we have a monitor there, and it's way tiny. One day... I don't want to mess with anything now. <laughs> yeah. I'll break it. We'll break it. But you're right. The Last Jedi took a bunch of character development that JJ was doing, and then Ryan went, ah, you know what? I'm going to build my own characters. He came up with... Um, Hodo that they killed because she did that suicide move with the oh, with yeah. the carrier. <laughs> and then she could have actually been a decent character if he gave her time. Like he didn't give like it was like a twist of like she I know just what I'm doing. she just sat there. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. You're an idiot. Like literally, you got like nothing, and then you got at the very end you actually saw something from like, her. Oh, that makes sense. That's why she was being the way she was. But it's like, well, what? The- <sighs> but you killed Poe. Poe and Finn had so much screen time in the first one, they got the screen time they got in the last Jedi made them worthless. Yeah. And then Rise of Skywalker, they got less screen time, and we're playing. Did Lackey's you ever? Ray. You ever actually see? I, I was uh, looking up uh, what's called about character development and all that shit, and they talk about character development for Darth Vader. I haven't read that one, but I, do, I have. But they go. Time. He had so much char- Like you knew so much about him, and he was literally only on the screen. I think for. 14 minutes in the first one, he was 16 minutes in the second one, and like 12 minutes in the last. Like, literally no screen time whatsoever. And he's considered the quintessential bad guy villain of any fucking movie. Was, and has no screen time in his trilogy. He was Tarkin's bitch in the first one. Tarkin called the shots. It's, he controlled Vader and said, let him go. It's fucking This is what crazy. you're going to do. Tarkin, to me, was the bad guy in the first one, and Vader was his just bulldog. It was crazy. And, and you're right. In the second one, he just showed up and killed generals. Mm-hmm. And just kept saying, I'll, I'll alter the deal. Just pray I don't do it any further. Yeah. Pray, pray I don't alter it any further. But it was fucking crazy. You're not wrong. I mean, he, he's barely in it. And, and, and then you have these other fucking... This entire one, and we have absolutely no idea about anything. Like, Ray... Still a mystery. Still a fucking mystery. I, I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Fucking... Finn is a stormtrooper. Like, co- Finn's story had so much potential because he was a yeah. stormtrooper that broke away from the First Order brainwashing. The problem is, like, you could have went into so many flashbacks and stuff with him to actually understand more of stormtroopers and stuff, which mm-hmm. I thought would have actually been really good. Because, like, we got the clone training and clone stuff through the Clone Wars, so we can uh, actually understand, like, what the clones are. Yeah. But we never really get to understand what a stormtrooper is past the clones. You're right. We have no idea what their training's like. We, we have no idea. Like, he apparently was on sanitation duty for the fucking entire time. I can't well, the, believe they the have closest, fucking stormtroopers doing sanitation, but the whatever. The closest thing you got was the, uh, the Solo. Solo tried, to a certain yeah. extent. but when he, when he was briefly in the Imperial Academy and all that bullshit. Br- yeah, very briefly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Well, my, my thing is, in the in Rise of the Skywalkers, they did have that moment where Finn met other renegade troopers. Yeah. Which, that that could have been a much more impactful bonding yeah. moment that gave him that closure of, well, you did the right thing, you've made this possible, and it's because of this, and you are not alone in this fight. And I, I thought it alluded to them also being Force-sensitive, too. Like, it took a Force sensitivity to break the brainwashing of the First Order. Which would be the building of the next Jedi Council. Exactly. Yeah. Which, which, would be, which would be the right. Has to be trained yeah. by Rey because she's the only Jedi. Left. No, no, they, they can... Well, because they're Force, sens they're Force sensitive, they technically already like, know the, the rules. The, the whole problem here is, is the only person that could have trained more Jedi would have been um, Kylo. Oh. Yeah. Because he would have, he was be the only one that had, well, him and I guess the, his Knights of Ren, but I think they're all dead now. <laughs> you slaughtered them all. But they were the only ones that actually, yeah. in theory, got training in the Jedi way from Luke. Yeah. I, I mean, if we're, I'm assuming Luke's still dead, but you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, he technically would be the only one, and they, he fucking killed him off. Uh, they're both. What's that? So, this is the Dace Man show on the Dace Man channel. Yeah. So, they're both the same thing, all inter intertwined. We do uh, shows. A uh, uh, variety of shows throughout the week. So Tuesdays we do our talk show for the Dace Man show. Dace Man? Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> Dace Man, right? <laughs> well, no, the Dace Man and Friends came across because of our charity event. Uh, yeah, it was a second stage channel that, took, that off. took off better than the main stage, which was the Dace Man show. So we could probably always go back to the other one. <laughs> but <laughs> the fact that there's so many other people on the channel is why it's Dace Man and Friends. That's yeah. right. And to his point. There's multiple content that airs. We are on the Tuesday Night Titan that airs 8 p.m. Eastern every Tuesday. Yeah, not every Tuesday. Most Tuesdays. I would say 95% of the time. Out of eight years? Yeah. Yeah. We, we have um, issues. Sometimes we travel and then shit just hits the fan. Yeah. Jarrett, uh, our partner at Jarrett Games, he streams on Wednesdays and then yep. is, Yeah, I know. Sometimes we get Tim of the North. Sometimes we get Gibby get streams. My, sometimes I stream I very rarely. I get my thing set up all over again and... I can't play video games anymore. Is it's it actually getting pretty bad. No, it's because uh, Chris changed the password. Oh. Well, no, I just, no, I mean, I literally haven't really been playing much. Like, I can't oh, even play, like, freaking, I haven't even played Apex for more than, like, an hour before I'm bored of it. Yeah, I haven't played that really lately. So, so I'm, I'm kind of struggling right now, because I don't have a game to play, and it's like, I don't like... Go take a look at Mario 3D all over there. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. I got a catalog over there. But I think we'll, we'll put a pin in the Star Wars conversation, because there's going to be more... Uh, to come because Marvel Star Wars is the future. It is the way I have spoken. It is the way I have spoken. Uh, I can't believe they killed him. <laughs> Spoiler alert again. That's okay. I don't remember any of this conversation. <laughs> Nick Nolte's dead. I, uh, I good. I don't know who that is. Let's go around the horn. Let's see what's everybody doing. Gibby. Uh, please email me at dancingshowgmail.com. Uh, I'll answer most likely by sending it to him. That's true. Hashtag G4Needs Town. Cheever, what are you going to do? So you can always follow me at Twitter at Cheever212, where I've recently been taking up sports, because football is back, tweeting at every major sports team, trying to get a fight going. Also, no, no, he doesn't tweet at major sports, he tweets at Eric. That's right. <laughs> and he well, gets them all round up. <laughs> do I? You do. <laughs> I love it. It's so easy I to get him round up. I tag, yeah. I tag our other show, uh, Jersey Bullies, which talks about sports all the time. I tagged uh, the Dallas Cowboys. I tagged the Phillies. I've yeah. tagged the Eagles. I've tagged everyone under the sun. He, Tom Brady. I do it all. He shit talks Philly and then tags Eric. And then <laughs> Eric goes, like, responds, like, almost immediately. It's I like good, it. It's really good content. I it is. It. it is. I try my best to provide quality content for the show. Um, I do want to talk, talk about the boys. I do want to get a podcast running about that. This season has been phenomenal. The boys? Pack I don't want to yes. talk about the Cowboys. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> it packs a punch. Episode four. Oh my god! It was all about masks and identities and no. that conflict each person has on the screen. Really great stuff. I'm a I'm a, like the writing, so I do want to talk about it. Yeah. Uh, we do have other projects in the works, so I want to let Dace take it over from here. We uh, got Dungeons question. and Dragons on the horizon at some point. A campaign is in act, like it's being produced. Yeah, I know. Um, I need to get your credentials because I need to get the the sheets off of the okay. thing. Okay, they're still yeah. building characters. I got a campaign. It's the Gates of Baldur, or maybe the Descent of Baldur. I don't know. Descent of Baldur. Descent of Baldur. We'll be taking that campaign on. We got what? We got to figure out the format. Let's put it that way. But Dungeons right. and Dragons on the horizon. Uh, new podcasts come out. 
We've got so many of them. You might get an episode from one of them a week. Who Maybe. Knows? Maybe not. We've got Potter Nerd on Spotify. We've got the Jersey Bullies on Spotify. And then we have the Dace Man Show of the Next Generation on Spotify. Um, thank you for subscribing to the channel. We appreciate it. I don't um, like the fact that the sound doesn't work anymore, so you don't know when they do shit yeah, like that. Yeah, it, it should have popped up on there, though. But I don't pay attention to that that often. It didn't, it didn't pop yeah. up, though. Oh, that's So we got to we make sure it pops up. But, hey, if you subscribe, make sure you move over to our Discord. The link is below the video here on twitch.tv slash Daceman and Friends. Uh, we have a Discord going. Yeah. I post in the meme page a lot. I uh, I set it up and walked away, and it's not fully set up right, so we'll see what happens. We well, still I'm get the... Twitter responses from Trish. Yeah, I'm in the voice chat a lot. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a DJ for subscribers. Uh, anyway, we've got Twitter, at the day span. I'm back on Twitter, uh, thanks to this asshole. Hey! Hashtag G4 needs talent. Uh, I put submitted an so, audition tape to them. I have a question. Did you get an email and you just ignored it? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, have you guys you guys watched The Social Dilemma on Netflix? It's on my list of things to do. We can do a movie talk about it. For real. For real. Could it possibly be coming back? Yeah. As me as your host because... <laughs> Goblin. Reasons. <laughs> Goblin. And, and the whales! <laughs> so, okay. I really hope she's anyway, not watching right now. Uh, follow Twitter I at The Dace Man Show. Uh, like us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash The Dace Man Show. We have a website, thedacemanshow.com. I will update it. Woo! I say it every week. I haven't. Nope. And then youtube.com slash dacemanshow for all our archive stuff, uh, as well as new content, hopefully down the line. Yay! I'm playing Marvel's Avengers. I've got it stockpiled. It just needs to be edited and then uploaded to it. Um, that's all I got. We've been I like it. It's over. I thought it was a good hey, show. A lot, of a lot of positive talk. There was a hell of a debate. Yeah. I... I, th I really feel like that's how the debate is going to go uh, next Tuesday for the presidents or the presidential candidates. But I'm sure we'll talk about that next week leading into that. They need He needs a teleprompter, but we'll go with that. They both do. And probably... Uh, one will read, though. One will Stop won't. shooting from the hip. <laughs> one will read it. One won't. Well, thank you for subscribing to the streams as well. We always do appreciate it. Hey, thoroughly appreciate it. Make sure you stick around again. Our friend Jarrett will be on tomorrow around 7 o'clock. That's right. Marriott Games. Give him a follow. He's on our stream a lot. He's, he's been a, playing what's called a lot. He started playing Avengers last week. Oh, yeah. That's right, but he was yeah. playing Fall Guys. Ooh. So Do we fall down? Yeah, it's a weird it's game. A weird Do game. we weeble wobble? That's essentially yeah. what they are. Okay. Anyway, that's all we got for this week. Um, I think that's playing. For the few. For my chicken. For the proud. And Woo! Well. And for the tastacular. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for the subscribe and the follow. We hope to see you next week. And as always, to everybody else who's watching on Facebook.com slash Show and Twitch.tv slash Friends, we will see you next time.